All right, today I want to talk about uh, guard retention, and not just guard retention, like making your guard unpassable. Retention is more like if someone passes, but they all kind of are in the same category. But there's there's drills you can do that can really develop your guard. Now, me as someone who teaches a lot, and you always get a lot of beginners, because that's how you make money, is, is new people coming in. I don't always get a chance to get someone that can really push me hard, and that can really just cut through my guard. So I have to do certain things to make training with, you know, white belts and, and blue belts tougher. All right, and one of the drills I like to do, and there's there's three that I'm gonna show in a series. There's gonna be three separate videos on this channel about it. The first one I like to do is, uh, I call it the no hands drill, okay? This is the no hands close guard drill, okay? So I'm gonna bring in my partner, Michael, who's off camera. He's gonna come in here, and I'm gonna kinda explain to you guys the drill, okay? It's like it sounds, all right? So I'll do it, I'll show it from some different angles too. So he's gonna get my close guard here. Now the drill is like it says, it's no hands. So what I'm gonna do in a gi, you go hands in the belt, Okay, no gi, I come here. Now my entire goal is to not let him open my guard. If he opens my guard, the game is over. But there's a lot of things I can do, you know, right? This really develops the control from the closed guard like no other drill. I've exhausted guys with this while I'm down here chilling, okay? So first thing is I like to get my hips off the ground. I'm putting my weight on them. This makes it hard for him to do anything. I can't use my hands, but what I can do is I can use my legs. I can break them down, pull them in, right? If I pull him down like that, he has to posture back up and go, and that's part of the game. My whole goal is to never let him open the guard. Okay, so say he brings one leg up, right? He gets one leg up. Okay, break him back down. He's got to start over again. Now right, he brings a leg up, break him back down. Okay, now say he, he's really good and he gets to his, his feet, he gets to, to both legs, right? The game's not over. At this point, I can just try to wiggle back, break him back down. Okay, the whole goal is to not let him open my guard, right? So we'll do this from a different angle. I'll kind of do it with my back to you guys so you guys can see it. All right, so I, I can't remember, I can't use my hands, right? So, we, we, you know, Michael's going to go ahead and do some stuff, right? Okay. Okay, I'm still in the game. Now, the game ends if he's able to open my guard. Right? Okay, at that point, the game ends. But you guys can see. What I did there, it's control, right? My whole goal is to not let him stand up, to not, and if he gets one knee up, to break him back down. If he gets to both feet, try to break him back down. The second he opens it, the game's over. But this is a, a great way, uh, this is a great conditioning drill for both people, um, for the bottom and top guy. I've, I've done this for eight or nine minutes straight and had people quit on me. I mean, I'm a bigger guy, so it favors some parts of it favor me, but this is an excellent drill that will develop your, your control from close guard. So I'll show you guys again from a different angle. So, okay, again, start here. And you, you know, it, I don't want anything being predictable. Let your partner do whatever. If they try to open the guard on the knees, you can't reach and do this. So if he tries to open the guard on the knees, I'm gonna scoop my body closer, break him down. No matter what he does, he, he likes to stay low and open it, right? He can't grab your, he can't grab my arms to do anything because they're out of the game. Like I said, in a gi, you'd be here with him in the belt. So if he tries to open the guard low, nope. Try to keep him away, I'm pushing my hips to keep him away. If he does the more traditional route of standing up, break him back down. He gets to both feet, walk backwards, break him back down. Okay. All right. So. The second the guard is open, the game is over. And you can have fun with it. You can maybe do like, okay, every time that your guard gets opened, you do five push-ups or something, or not. I like to do this for like a five minute round and then switch to the other person. It's an excellent drill and it's gonna develop your closed guard control like nothing else.